here it's burning good. And it's boiling. Again, only took about a minute. I'd say this is the second best stove. Needs a few more holes though. Right there, that's the one to go with. That is a super clean burn on that stove. That's the cleanest burn I think I've ever seen. I'm not sure if you can even see that. The flame is about so high, almost solid blue. I got the heat in there right now. Beautiful. That's working great. It's a mix of quarter and eighth inch holes, as you can see, all the way around. And then a good size outlet in the top. This is how you fit the two cans together. Grab it like this, just about to the top. Then move over, in about an inch and a half. Do that again. That's all you got to do. Then it should just drop in. Just like that. And just push down. Again, to snap it in. Just like that. Again, put it in. Just snaps right in. All right, then you just pop the holes in the top. and then go around and bend it in. Essentially like that. And then just do that another time or two to get the size hole you want. Notice nice smooth edge, no sharp edges. I gotta say that the nature stinks the most by far. Okay, there it is. It's boiling that water in no time at all. That's barely been a minute. Try laying it from the side, see what we can do. Whoa. Thanks.
That's just the fume build up. Okay, I went ahead and doubled the number of holes on the edge and added four little pressure relief holes. Still not enough air. Have to add some more holes. Okay, I went ahead and added some more holes on the top and widened out some of the ones on the side. Okay, it's burning good. All right, and lastly, here's a small isopropyl stove. It's two tuna cans in there. The bottom one turned upside down, then the middle can right side up, both tuna cans, and then a little Campbell soup can cut in half in there to hold the isopropyl. All put inside one of those 29 or 30 ounce fruit style cans, like that you see in the back. like that. Works good. That's actually a pretty strong flame. I might reduce the height of the can a little bit. That flame was a little big for what I wanted to do, so what I did was I still got the two tuna cans in here, and then that's half a soup can just dropped in. You gotta make the isopropyl stoves like this because these little ones, they just don't let in enough air. They're great for the heat and maybe even denatured alcohol, but if you got the isopropyl rubbing alcohol, you gotta burn it in something like this, lets in a lot more air. Once these are in there, they're in there good. 